Can you solve all these riddles or will you give up halfway through? Today we give you six really tricky riddles, let's go! You're standing in a cubic room that is completely empty and all four walls, floor and ceiling are covered in mirrors. How many reflections of yourself can you see? Hint number one, bear the most basic things in mind. Hint number two, stop counting. The solution is easier than you think because you can't see yourself at all. A completely empty room with no light source would be fully dark inside. And let's continue with number five. Mrs. Johnson's bungalow is completely furnished and decorated in pink. The carpet is pink, the couch is pink, and even her dog is pink. What color do the stairs have? Those of you who paid just a little attention probably figured this one out themselves. A bungalow only has a ground floor, and thus there are no stairs at all. And number four. This story is slightly longer than the other, so listen carefully, it's a little more difficult. A cyclist reaches the border, which he intends to cross. On his carrier, there is a big bag. The toll keeper asks him about the bag's contents and whether or not he has something to declare. The cyclist claims there is just some sand in the bag and the policeman lets him pass. The next day, the same thing happens. This time, the officer opens the bag and all he can see inside is sand. The same thing happens for days and after one week, the officer wants to inspect the bag a little closer. He pours the entire content through a strainer but finds nothing but sand. After two weeks full of suspicion regarding the cyclist's intentions, the policeman even takes a sample of the sand and has it tested in a laboratory. The the results come back and to his surprise, it's really just sand. After a month of sleepless nights, the officer has had enough and says to the cyclist, I promise to keep letting you pass every day and not to tell on you. If you just explain to me what it is you are smuggling in that bag. All right, responds the man, I'm smuggling. And now the question to you folks, what does the cyclist smuggle? Once again, a textbook example of the art of diversion. The man smuggles bicycles. And we have reached number three. Imagine an abandoned house. Inside the house, there is an aquarium. In that aquarium, there are three big fish and three small fish. After four days, one big fish and two of the small ones are dead. The question, how many fish are left in the aquarium? Well, who solved it? Of course, all six fish are left. Since the house is abandoned, there is no one around to remove the deceased creatures. So silly, so tricky, I know. Listen up closely for number two. Maybe you'll get this one. The only brother-in-law of your mother's brother is sleeping on the couch. Question, who is sleeping on the couch? Having a big family might be helpful to solve this one. The person sleeping on the couch is your father. And here we are at our number one riddle. What's got neither a beginning nor an end and also has no middle? The answer? A donut! Uh, that was it for today. If you want to spread a little head shaking and eye rolling, go ahead and share this video with your friends. See you around, take care.